pengine alikufa akiwa shule kwa mikono ya mtu fulani na huyo na murani na ulisa Mungu anilipishie mara mia moja. Nikikuja kwa naona watoto wanatoka shule na was like our son is never coming back. <laughs> Hello Tuko family. My name is Kingori Wangeshi and right now we are heading to Meru where a family has invited us because they have a plethora of questions regarding the death of their kin who was a form 1 student and unfortunately passed on in school under unclear circumstances. Come with me let's hear this family out. Jina langu ni Charity Mkirote Nicholas a teacher at Mikidori Primary School in Tigania West mother to the late Eugene Moridi. How has he grown up? How have you observed him from tender age to the point of going to secondary school? Okay. Eugene, as we fondly called him Mori, had a normal childhood growth. He grew up with a normal childhood challenges. He was a very uh, playful boy and very talented, if I may say. Eugene was the heart of the family. He was loved dearly by everybody. Everyone who interacted with Moray loved him. For whatever he did, he was perfect, if I may say so. Moray was very much disciplined. We have never dealt with any discipline issues about Moray. In fact, Moray was everything all round boy at home and akiwa nyumbani hata naweza nipikia mimi i remember there was a time i felt sick over the holidays he had grown to be a man and you know in meru men don't enter kitchen Mori realized i'm sick and i could not wake up to make breakfast for the family he got up very early prepared breakfast he even made pancakes for the family then he made sure I came and called me, Mom, Mom, Amuka, Kamumbia Imorisi ski vizure, can I be Amuka and pick a breakfast, Mukunye, Alafu Mutenda, or Sina Dad? So, Mori had no discipline issues. He was a very humble, polite, down to earth boy, all round. Any Ilekazi Mori and Eza Fanya, Alikwa Nafanya, Niam Tumukubo. You can imagine at his age, he was a very good driver. He was a chef, a mechanic, name it. He was a very good boy. His former primary school, they really miss him. When they heard of the, his demise, they were devastated. They could not believe it. Yeah, they told us how Moray was in their former school. And they could not believe that the boy went past on was Moray. It is hard. Yeah. <sighs> this is a very had interview to conduct, but we need to understand what transpired. Let's talk about that particular day. Where were you? How did you get that information? And what did you gather happened? Because I understand the school has not gotten in touch with his family. Mr. Kingori, I detest that day. Anytime it clicks 25th, it hits me the most. In in a new mampaka, it was on 25th. It was on a Tuesday, July. I remember very well. Uh, at around 10, 10, 10 a.m. in the morning, somebody called me and asked me, have you heard that Kajodo the school went on strike? I said, no, no communication so far. Then I called the dad. Dad is also a teacher. He was not picking the phone. So I called another sister-in-law who had also a child in the same school. And then she was like, hey, ujaskia, ujambiwa, waligoma, na wapatikani, watoto wengine wapatikani. So finally the dad at around 11, akapata simu, ndia kanipigia, nini, kamumbia, nobody has called you, kanambia pana. Kumbia, okay, could you do the school went on strike? Nah, it's like, kuna watoto wa patikani. 
kanambia oh hata mimi nimeona kwa mitandao and ni kama kuna mtoto amekufa kumwambia please try get in touch ujue ni nini so alingangana kajaribu kumanuva alikuwa na namba ya one of the teachers i guess kampigia kamwambia yeye kuna mtoto amekufa yeah it's true lakini huyo hata si wa Meru huyo ni wa Nairobi na ni orphan wanaishi na grad parents kamuuliza nikampigia akaniambia ah nimeambiwa eh, ni kweli kuna mtoto amekufa ni wa form 1 lakini sio wetu huyo ni wa kutoka Nairobi so we were like ah Nairobi huyo si wetu but then that mother instinct kept on clicking nikampigia tena nikamwambia si upige kanambia so nimetuma mtu hapo aende angalie na nimempigia mwalimu akasema as soon as mure geto nimwambia rudi shule wengine wamerudi so these people knew what I long na walikuwa natuchezea tu akili so huyo my gra- my father now the grandfather to uji akakuwa very uneasy also anapiga simu anaulizia ananiuliza umejua nikamwambia hapana and i think tuende shule kanambia nimeambiwa huyo mtoto ni wa kutoka Nairobi so Nairobi na Meru sasa sijui naingiliana wapi it was unlike Mure Mure alikuwa anafika hapa 9 it was already going to 12 na jafika no phone call no nothing sasa coincidentally kuna rafiki ya wazazi wangu alikuwa amekuja kutembea hapa ni rafiki yao sana akapata the uneasy nothing is going on akauliza and what is it kumwambia there is a school ile kijana wetu anasomea ilienda on strike na mtoto tu hajafika nyumbani na wengine washafika by now the school has not yet communicated atujui na hata we were like ai huyu mtoto ni nini huyu akasema tukaulizia tena tukasikia kwa social media tukaona sasa mwili wa huyo mtoto ulipelekwa chuka mochari kumbe huyo rafiki alikuwa na has ya kubeba Aha. akasema anajua wale watu wanafanya kazi huko ngoja tupige simu tuulizie so that is done now was telling me eh, nimetumana wacha niambiwe kumbe walipopiga simu ile mtu aliangalia sema yeye kuna mwili iko hapa na ni ya Eugene Morevi I think my dad collapsed my mom went berserk sasa sijui kama ni kushtuka baba kanipigia simu kaniambia nkiro ah kujeni mbio sana kamuliza ni nini anaambia atuna mure aki it a heart those ones still ring in my ears in my mind it a heart kamuliza haje kaniambia ai nimeambiwa hivyo from there on what happened i screamed it was hard ilikuwa ngumu ilikuwa ngumu Take, take, let, take a break. When took my sister. Tukakuja nyumbani ndio tulianza mipango ya mazishi. Funny enough, at around 6 p.m. That's when one of the policemen ama ni DCI called me. Kaniambia it was so painful. Kuna mwili wa mtoto uko chuka mochari go identify if it is your son can imagine go identify now it was from the dci not from the school it was already late we end the news so we waited for the following day mipango yote sasa ikaanzia hapo to transfer the body of our beloved son paka consolata hospital it wasn't easy to do that sijui ni uchungu nikifikiria vile huyo mtoto alikufa that pain he and jerris 
and it wasn't easy, Mr. King or I don't know, CJ. The support to Lianzia Mepangoya, Mazishi, and Mori. Shule, Elekit will Lifania. Elipia post mortem. That very day, Mulili Pelek Hospital, Mochari, Si Hospital. That is what they cared about. Nothing more. I want to communicate with Sisi. I want to get Sisi for Kasasa. What hurt most is that we buried Mure on 2nd of August. Four days to his birthday, which he never got to celebrate. We were all in tears, we cried, we've never stopped crying. It is painful. Painful. Nikito mbacho singe ombea mzazi yeyote yule apitie. Na kuna mzazi ufikiria, ni atazika mtoto, sio mtoto ata mzika. Yule ambaye ni mzazi ya naelewa yu uchungu. Can imagine, nakana juliza. Wakati yu mtoto alikuwa anapigo, alikuwa, nani mtu mkubwa anampiga kweli. Sababu alikuwa megongo wa four end. Amefunjo mbavu hapa. Na amepigwa, amepigwa. So it was like, uyu mtoto akilia sababu alikuwa anadia kwa uchungu kingori. Anawambia wa murumie. Walikuwa nasikia kweli. Pana. So, so to be back in a memories, Zamori. Niki Kudia, Kwana, no, Toto, and Toka Shule. And I was like, Our son is never coming back. Too <laughs> true. <laughs> A very innocent young man who had a bright future. Surely there's a God in heaven. He sees and he hears. Yeah. So sorry. Take heart. Now that the school did not communicate and has not come to this family to speak with you, talk with you, what do you gather happened? Uh, what the circumstances in the school that led to the strike? Do you understand? Do you have information? Okay. Rumors has it that there was a strike. The school went on a rampage at around what a year at around 8 p.m. in the evening, and I understand that for months the Morris class now they were in class doing a cut. So when whenever whatever happened happened, it's like the students were coming out of the class. They didn't have knowledge what was going on. Ndo to say memory was involved a manini. Welcome to a class. Kuna classmate a little a very good friend of Mori. Welcome na Mori. Welcome to a class. Nakamwambia that other boy now. Mori, usinia che usinia chile. I have enough money that will be enough for a fare all the way home. Here the police came in numbers, very large numbers. They threw tear gas in there at night and shooting in there. So I gather the boys they ran elter skelter. So whatever happened, I really can't tell. If we were to go to the scene where the body was found, it is like 
I don't even think it is one kilometer from the school. They are like two kilometers, and in a bush, very far away from the school. Okay, Mr. Kengori, mtu akitembea na kulikuwa na manyunyu, oneza una matope kwa migu. Mwili wa mtoto wetu ulipopatika na migu ilikuwa very clean. Ilikuwa usiku, mtoto wakuwa na sweater ama shirt. He was only in a t-shirt na grey trousers. That is how we found our boy. So sorry. And the school has not taken responsibility whatsoever. No. It is just like a dog is dead. That's it. Life goes on as usual. In fact, I think everything runs smooth in the school. Nothing, nothing. And they have not stepped here. No. The only people who came after the barrio were a few BOM members. They came, yeah. Nobody else, no teacher, no who, no what, no nothing. I'm not asking this because you're a teacher. I'm asking you this question as a mother. Do you think the school would have handled the situation better? Yeah, sure. Those are very young boys, very young. The school could have controlled them. They could have contained the boys instead of calling the police on them, surely. You can imagine throwing tear gas at night. Where would these children go? What do you expect? The police harassing them, beating them at night. Where do you expect them to go at night, really? They should have at least contained the boys in school, called them, maybe call them on a parade, DH, contain them there. But then calling the police on them, it was really uncalled for. Yeah, sure. Yeah. They have the discipline master, the deputy, the principal. And not that the school was so much in chaos. And I guess even if the boys may be destroyed or whatever they did without harming one another, at least as parents, tungelipia yo. Akuna pesa that is worthy your son or your daughter. Akuna pesa wezilipa. Mimi na nikingeulizwa hata ningelipishwa 1100 huyo mtoto awe uwai ningelipa lakini niwe na muona hata kama wale walimpiga walimpiga wangemvunja miguu awe kiwete hapa na wheelchair i could be pushing him nursing him but then the thought that i will never see him hurts me so much now you are following up justice for Eugene how can Tuko family help to support the search for justice for Eugene? Mr. Kingori, nothing will bring back our Mori. But at least if we get justice for Mori, he so rest in peace. Even if we wrote so many RIPs, I'm not sure he so is in peace, knowing that no justice has been given to him. So I'm kindly requesting. Elena is here. Uh, where I teach, I have a friend who is a beacon teacher, a friend of mine by the name Jennifer Modoni. When she heard of the story, she told me, Na Ninajua, a friend of mine, and I talk Kimila, Nafanya Kazi Amnesty International. Tongia na ye to wonder if they can help us in any way. May God bless those people for me. Jennifer and Kimila, wherever you are, God bless you. They took it as if it is their own, as if it was their own son. Na Kimila came all the way from Nairobi, Amnesty International, alikuwa apa. Tukafanya interview, tukamwelezea. They followed up, wakaenda atashwile. The same story, the principal repeated that. Ni mtoto ni wa grandfather. Ni polisi walifanya ivo. Si ogopi ni kisema ivo. Hata ya li sema ivo. Can confirm that. But walipo enda fuatilia kwa polisi, they never got any information. So I thank them. Sababu, the Amnesty International, 
I've started a campaign uh, by the name Justice for Eugene. It is online. We've shared the link. Yule anaweza kusign. Ukifungua link, it will give you a short story about Muri. Then, inakuliza your name, you write your name, your phone number, uh, uh, email number. There's a place where it is indicated and add signature. You just click. And then, uh, tukituma watu wengi, tukilia sana maybe. Kuna mtu wataguzo maali, atafute justice for Eugene. At least ndio family pate closure. Na tupumzike, tukijua, we tried our best. But the best justice will be given by God. That is all I can say. My name is Nicholas Mbijewe. Mimi ni babu yake, Eugene Murevi. Aliyakuwa mwanafunsi, kachunduthi, boys. Aliyatuacha. Mimi nilimpeleka shule kusoma lakini nililetewa akiwa maiti. Nashikitika sana. Leo ni kama tuna open hood wounds. This is hurting. Eugene was too close to me kama babu yake. Mimi nimefanya kazi nyingi na yeye. Anajua kazi ya metambo ile iko kwa hii nyumba yote, kwa hii nyumba tunafanya naye. Murithi akienda kwa gari anakuwa makanika, muendi akienda kwa gari anakuwa driver. Akienda kwa ngombe, anajua vita tunarisha, alikuwa all round. At that young age, alikuwa all round. Yes, at his tender age, he was very active. He died in form one. Na hii ni sikitiko. Mimi nilipelekea mwalimu mkuu mwanafunsi na yeye achunge. Mulithi alikupa pale angetaka hawe safer than nyumbani. Sababu tulimpeleka asome. Lakini sikitiko nangu ni kwa kuwa tulimuchukua akiwa maiti. Na hii yote ya tukuambiwa na shule, tuliambiwa kutoka mogi. Mutu wa mogi ndi ya ritujurisha. Shule mpaka saa hii, haija jitokesha. Kinaga ubaga tuangea na hawa. Wanajificha. Na hii kulingana na vile tulienda kuona pale mulithi ya likuwa. Alikuwa amebebo. Hakawe kwa hapo. Pengine ya likufa akiwa shule. Kwa mikono ya mtu furani. Na huyo na murani. Na ulisa mungu wa nilipishie mara miyamoja. Huyo hata pata nafueni, hata pata peace kwa hii dunia. Na hata tukienda kwa mungu, hata murani. Kwa hivo, administration ya shule kunda have contained the student. Alavu wa nalirisi in the morning. Lakini yae li waitia ma polisi, polisi wa napiga tiangas, wa nashoot all over, mpaka mwishoe, that ended the death. That caused the death of Eugene Murith. Tulipoenda kwa postmortem. Hatu kuambiwa ni nini. Mpaka saa hii hatu ya letoa matokeo. Tuliandikua vitu ambavyo hatuelewi. Tukambiwa alikufa sababu ya kukosa hewa. Niduulisa kama hakukua na hewa kwa ndunia. Mpaka hakufe. Wakasema ni oxygen ime kwa sakana. Ude mtoto wa mekufa. Walituambia ude mtoto wa mekufa. Alikuwa wa maskini muji wa korogocho Nairobi kwa hivyo walidhani mimi ni soso wanaenda na mkongojo sole let them know i'm not like that that is what they said that is what they said kale kama mtoto kama kufa ni kama skin kutoka Nairobi ndi ni shule ilikuwa inakasa india that those were ones from the the school that the principal to the son ni riskia alisema wale wamekosa watoto wao waende mochari Na tulikuwa tumejua kuna mtoto alipelekwa mocha lichuka. The following day nilienda kumuidentify na nikamutransfer kutoka chuka nikamuleta nkubufo postmortem. Na nilikuta shule ilikuwa imeripia postmortem chuka. Na mwakafuata nikimuleta nkubufo ndiyo nilienda siku ya postmortem nikapata shule ilikuwa imeripa mpaka, mpaka postmortem. I think that was done to favor the, sh the shuku. Na alia kuja kufanya force motam, alitoka shule. Ndiyo atuka kutana nkubu. Alipitia shule kwanza. Those things were pre-arranged. Vile itafiba the school. Mpaka saa hii unaona yawa anjatoa report. Walituambia ni oxygen. Lack of oxygen. There must have been a cause of the oxygen 
ikwasakane kwa mwili umesema walisema ati wale wamekosa watoto waende mochari hey. na hapo awali ulikuwa umetuambia it's the mog attendant who, who called you or who informed you si, si. the material date atukuambiwa tulipoambiwa mtoto wa kwa mochari kuna mtoto amerepelekwa kwa mochari mimi niliudhika sana sababu kuna msazi alinipigia simu akaniambia shule ilikuwa na mgomo na watoto wamekuja nyumbani wake yake amefika lakini wangu haja akaniuliza kama amefika nikamwambia haja afika lakini kulingana na vile nilikuwa najua mrithi mrithi akifika nkobo kama gari haitajaa alikuwa anachukua pikipiki anakuja nyumbani nikapata na wasiwasi ikifika kitu saa sita, nilikuwa na mgeni huyu mgeni ana hasi anafanya na funera ndio nimuuliza kama ana, ana mtu anajua chuka tujue ni nani huyo mtoto alipelekwa huko ndio tulipiga simu ndio alipiga simu akauliza huyo wanajuana akamwambia yule mtoto aliletwa ana interest na yeye amwambie jina lake sasa huyo ndiye alisoma njina akamwambia ni yunjini mrithi shule ilikuwa inasema haijui ni nani alikufa ni mtoto gani alikufa ni haji watu wa mugi walijua njina lake ni haji polisi ilijua njina la mrithi na mrithi alikuwa na jesse ina animation namba yake kwa hivyo ni kuonyesha shule ilikuwa ina ficha na mpaka saa hii shule ina ficha uwaki they know what happened mpaka nasikia ovulate the principal alisema ni ndipite alitisha askari anataka kuonyesha si yeye ana anatoroka majukumu yake hata akitoroka he is the father of the school uh, the police should um, maintain peace and order as well as protect life and property that did not happen did it that did not happen hata kama wana protect hawaku protect walienda kumalisha maisha sababu walipomalisha na mrithi hakuna mwanafunzi mwingine waligusa that is a simple taken to the bank i've said that sija sikia kama kuna mbrace ya mtoto mwingine anywhere shule nzima na shule ilirundi ilikuwa ni yeye peke yake wakati huo kwa hiyo shule this is interesting kwa shule hiyo yote hatukusikia mwingine alikuwa hata na mbrace hata kuumia hatukusikia kama mwingine kuna mwingine yeyote aliumia ilifanyikaji ikawa ni yunjeni mrithi peke yake alitolewa kama kafara na shule na irani mpaka saa hii the administration should look for itself and question itself wakuwe na tahadhari na wanafunzi na istokee kifo kingine ya wanafunzi tena ministry of education kuna wao kuna teacher service commission the ministry of education e, kuna wao wamejaribu kuwafikia nyinyi kama familia Hakuna watu wameojaribu kutufikia isipokuwa ka, watu kama nyenye watu wa Mindia. Na hao watu wa Mindia ni sympathy wana sympathize na sisi hata hawa. Ministry of Education haijaongea na sisi. Tumejaza hata maform we are looking for justice. Mpaka siku ya mwisho sisi tunaomba serikali tupatie itusikize tupate justice. Hata kama hatutarudishiwa mrithi lakini mrithi apate justice na wanafunzi wengine wote wale wako kwa shule wasidhirike wasipate madhara yale mrithi alipata Let's talk about his discipline because you seem to be very close to him and uh, you've defined for us the kind of young man he was to you oh. how about his discipline Thank you very much Mrithi was highly disciplined sisi tulikuwa close na yeye. Mrithi kwa kazi za nyumbani zote alikuwa anazijua. Haya hizi mazini ziko kwa area hii, kwa nyumba hii kwangu. Alikuwa anajua kuzitengenesha, hata magari tulikuwa tunatengenesha na yeye. Hata redia anajua hata kutengenesha. Mimi nasikia uchungu sababu alikuwa tegemeo langu. Nilikuwa naona I have bright future. Mipango yangu yote nilikuwa najua iko na mtu atakayeendesha. Sasa walikatia mipango yangu hapo naona kama haitapata nafasi ile nilikuwa naiona na mrithi. Mrithi alikuwa all round akiingia kwa jiko unajua uko na chef. Alikuwa anajua kutengeneza makuli ya aina mbalimbali. 
akienda kwa shamba anachunga wale wako kwa chamba anakaa kama manager wangu alikuwa very bright boy hata kwa shule nasikia hata mwalimu alikuwa anampenda sana aliona hakuwa anafanya vizuri alipoenda form 1 akasema atarudi form 1 tena na hiyo nikakubali akarudia sababu ni mapenzi yake aliporudia alifanya vizuri sababu wale walikuja form 1 alikuwa mbingwa wao hata mwalimu akampenda hata mwalimu wao alikuwa ananipigia simu ananiambia mrea nataka kwenda show nikalipia na mlipia if the boy was so close to me that I still feel we are opening hold wounds. Mpaka saa hii, serikari ifanya jambo. Hii maneno ilienda mpaka kwa watu wa Ipoa, mpaka inasikia, inasemekana watu wa sign tuulise justice ya murethi. Na shule mpaka saa hii hii jaongea na mimi. Should it be that lazima watu waungane wa sign diyo mpate justice or should it come naturally? It's national, lakini wengine lazima wa sukumwe. Kuna watu wa wasiki. Watu lazima wasiki, waambiwe ili wasikie. Naomba watu wengi wa sign justice ya murethi. Kenya mzima, mpaka murethi ya kipata justice, hata wanafunsu wengine watapata justice. Sababu hii na iwe funso kwa shule, kwa mashule yote. Mwalimu asija karuhusu watoto waende nyumbani usiku. Kama kuna njambo na hata kama wamefanya uharibifu wowote ni wana, ni, wa, ni wasasi wanaripia si wa, wanafunzi. Ningeripa hata milioni moja kama ni damage ili mtoto awe hai. Unaona? Akiwa hai hata kama nikiripishwa milioni moja haina ugumu lakini wale walirundi waliripishwa 1500 hiyo ni peti na mimi mwanafu, mwanafunzi wangu hakulipiwa. Hiyo shule mpaka saa hii hatutaachana hatutaachana mpaka justice toke hata mwalimu mkuu hajakuja hapa kutuambia tuwe pole na hiyo shule na shangaa sababu ilikuwa na walimu wengi si mwalimu peke mkuu peke yake ina deputy ina class teacher ina staff hakukupata mtu mmoja hata mwalimu mmoja kuja kutuambia samani hawajafika hapa hawajafika Hawa ni watu ambao hawana hutu. Pengine waliona vile mulethi ya likufa nao wakashanga. Hama wakapato na mustuko. Lakini it is their course. Waleti that they contained the pupils in school. Mulethi hange kufa. Waleti they did not call for the police. Mulethi hange kufa. Tungekua na mulethi sahi. This is the second case that I'm covering as a journalist this year. And actually in the last three months. What do you think is happening in schools? Uh, in competency. And administration ikiwa incompetent, hiyo ndiyo mamba utokia. Kuna watu wamepewa ukubwa sababu ya relatives. Tall relatives. And they are not responsible for that. Angekua mutu wamesomea kasi na anajua bila nafanya. Ange contain the pupils, alavu anawachilia the falling day. Hiyo ndiyo shinda. Niliomba MP wetu, Sandra Kamweti, ndaktari. Nikaomba Seneta wetu, Kadhure Murungi. Nikaomba Kiendiki wetu, Meru. Nikamuambia ni pate justice, Minister for Security, Internal Security. Naomba hata William Ruto, mpaka President, ni muombe, murethi ya pate justice. Hatuta choka. Aduta choka na tunaomba sisi ni waombaji tunaomba Mungu aliye hai haishie milele na ataishi milele atufanyie watu waone murethi amepata justice as we are talking every time that you are mentioning him you are, your face beams it lights up why are you so proud of this young man murethi angekuweko pengine ungemuona angejieresa mwenyewe Ungajua there is a gentleman, a gentleman and a half. A man who and his bright future, a man who knew himself, a man who could control himself, a self-stound Murethi. Eugene Murethi. Alikuwa mezaliwa njina langu, tagu yangu. I'm feeling very bad. Your final words and you have a message for the Cabinet Secretary for Education, uh, the Honorable Machogo. Thank you very much. The Ministry of Education should follow 
nimeona minister Machov akifuata sana mambo ya shule na anapenda watoto. Akumbuke hata mrithi ni mtoto, alikuwa mtoto na alituacha akiwa mikononi ya walimu. Afuate sana walimu wale wanachukua positions in in school, the principals, the deputy principals. Watu wachukue sababu ya relatives. Wachukue watu wana maana na dhamana ya nyoyo sa watu. Let's go back a little. Are you saying that the school administration has not sent any representative to this homestead or to this family? Mpaka tuzike mrevi. Hawajatuma. Mpaka saa hii tuko, hakuna mwalimu amewahi kwa Kanyanga hapa. This is very unfortunate and called for. Hawa ni watu ama ni wanyama. Pengine wako kati ya wanyama na watu. Hiyo tu. You are using very strong language. Uh, does that portray the pain that you have? Kulingana na ile pain tuko naye na si mimi peke yangu. Ni nyumba yangu yote. Kulingana na ile pain tuko naye. Wanafunzi wengine waligongojewa wakifunga. Baba na wamama waliona wafunzi wao. Wanafunzi walilipiwa karo wa Karundi. Mimi nilikuwa nalipa karo yote for the time. Na si kushindwa na karo. Kwa hivyo si mrithi ya kushindwa na shule ni vile alikufa. Na tulikuwa tayari mrithi asome mpaka pale atafika mwenyewe. That is why I feel very bad, very hurted. Nasikia naumia sana. Hata saa hii tunaongea naumia. Nimekwambia we are opening hold wounds and nilikuwa nimehiu. But the scar will ever remain. Amen. I'm so sorry for that. Eh uko na nambari ya simu ya mwalimu mkuu. Iko. Can we make a call to him to skia atasema namna gani? Hello. Hello. Hello mwalimu. Yes. This is Kingori I'm back. And what I have decided? Eh. Uh -huh. Because uh, there is a there will be a case. Eh. Uh -huh. Stack kuongea sana. But sasa niko na swali moja tu because I have two different documents cause of death. Yes. I have two different documents. Uh. Uh, that have different reasons for the cause of death. Mm. One is from the school, the other one is from the hospital. Mm. Why do we have a uh, different reasons? You know the parents have what they grieve. Mhm. Uh -huh. And then there is the other father. So uh, police. So now do we believe the school report or the school the the certificate of death that was issued by the hospital? Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and unless the, the parents are they angry. They agree. Because if they don't own up the, the hospital or the postpartum whatever. The postmortem. Who am I to refuse? Postmortem says asphyxia. Hmm? The postmortem mm. report says asphyxia. Mm. However, the the reports are from the school. Mm. I see here on the NEMI system is road accident. Mm. Uh, now, which one do we go by? Okay. <coughs> It's the parents mm -hmm. who have never owned up that that or whatever. So we 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 put that as they requested. The parents requested you to say that the cause of death is road accident. Anyway, you notice this uh, this uh, post mortem. Mm -hmm. Now all the all those reports are not yet completely con concluded. Mm -hmm. So as per now, mm -hmm. to tango jato, but the the parents refused to own up the issue of of io mesame asphyxia. Mm. Okay, I don't have a problem with asphyxia. I'm asking about this other. They they mean the the system, the NEMI system. When you're filling out for insurance, yes, cause of death is road accident. Mm. Yes, that did not come from the parents, neither did it come from the hospital. This is uh, from your 
from your end okay i am not even i, I okay <coughs> we we are agreeing the with the father mhm mm because to remotomia hiyo kitu akasema is okay road accident yeah because the way the way the, the way things were mhm mm the our our you know you kuna vile una unaweza ona kitu mhm uone hii ni it and run that was our first conclusion the first day because vijana wale hawajawahi kuambia ni nini waliona so we we thought it pengine alikongo mhm wanya wale mgonga mhm waka to avoid wa aroto kutaba mhm waka mpepa wakaweka pale so so there are so many theories mhm at unjui sasa ni nani because we have an history of huyo mtoto kuwa na asima mhm and kama hata hiyo hiyo siku ya kubeba hiyo inela na kulikuwa kuna nyesha mhm ya kubeba hizo vitu mhm lakini kulingana na vile sasa pale ali pale alipatikana there was no no sign of struggle mhm tukaona sasa ange ange kuwa um, alikufia hapo for the injuries unaona Yes because I talked to the parents and wanasema uh, alikuwa na injuries kwa kichwa kwa mbavu kwa miguu sana sana sasa I don't understand the mm -hmm. asphyxia theory and the road accident theory personally mm -hmm. you know okay we are talking me I'm a professional yes know? and uh, at, I've always been say, telling my the the media mm -hmm. There are some things I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to expose myself because mm -hmm. I also have a job to protect. Mm -hmm. Okay, since we are talking one on one, mm -hmm. I, I the, 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 that that theory, yeah, or you are supposed to mm know -hmm. that. Personally, I don't, I, like in just the parents, mm -hmm. I don't own it up. Mm -hmm. Sir, I would not own it up. So what would my conscience will not allow me to own that kind of mm -hmm. explanation yes a conviction uh the parents at, see at the time we were doing the whatever mm -hmm. the postmortem was not out by the time you are you are filing for the yeah, the 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 enemies insurance the only life mm. <coughs> It was not but the, the report the, the postmortem report was not over I mean was not out It was not out and Then uh, it was not out Why the Because rush I, I received the file from the CI mm -hmm. around two weeks back mm -hmm. And then by then we had done all the all the queries of Kunjaza my forms and all that name no online and the other Mm you know i would i would ask myself why the rush then if we are waiting for a postmortem report we can uh, we can just we can do it again because mm. everything we want to share with the parent yes yeah mm -hmm. and at <coughs> school mm -hmm. we need to know the 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 cause of death the cause of death yes yeah because uh, you know when we have two different uh, reports uh, uh, now there will be a problem with the insurance because i'm sure this this certificate of death will be accompanied uh, will be a document required uh, by the by the insurer uh, so now when we have two different it's just assuming like it's a vehicle you're saying that uh, you were hit by another vehicle but in real sense uh, maybe a motorbike you was involved you see those are two different reports and they have a they uh, they bring a problem later when claiming for insurance so i see such a case here yes now uh, the parents but also agree with the parents. you agreed yes but the reports i have them here are different that is the, mm -hmm. we are agreeing with the parents that even those forms mm -hmm. yeah they are chukua mm -hmm na akapeleka all the documents from everything aliweka man that certificate but certificate hata form ya bank hapo mm -hmm. and when we were writing we were filling the forms mm -hmm. 
we were in the consultation. That you agreed you will write as road accident? Yes, and we, we, we agreed on that. That's why you wrote that. Now I go back. For the sake of, of, to uh, the kila kitu. You know that it is not us who is being paid. Mm -hmm. It is them who are being paid. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, uh, these parents that you agreed with, eh? Oh. <coughs> they 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 uh, accused uh, the school administration of not even informing them when the child died or the student died mm -hmm. that they were told uh, they were informed by the morgue attendant yes because when did you agree when the police came uh -huh. they said that it is them who are supposed to 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 release the information uh -huh. The parents, you know, there were those people who are in school for at our school. China, no, personally, they told me, Grace, don't release any information until we are sure about this boy. Because the boy was even the, 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 the initial people who came first mm -hmm. were the same our, our Mutambui, okay. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine me as a as a as a as a nini administrator. He began to ask me, "Mwambi, you mtoto wako meku? Meku? Akikunja si wake?" And there were two cases of students who were going to be put in Uyo mungine ali 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 injuri kana ata. I think the third day. So can you see the the confusion that we were there? Uh, now I think. You are some, um, I, I was following instructions. From the police? Yes. But who is in charge of the I school? I was not alone. Mm -hmm. Even the BOMs were there. Mm -hmm. You can even come and interrogate them. But who is like in charge of the school? There, we were all through. And you know, to come and meet me, mm. I was not even able to meet anybody. Mm. So even that information they are saying that they should have come from me, mm -hmm. And in, I was not even in a position to do it. But the police told me it is them who are supposed to release the information. But who is after, in charge of the school, Mwalimu? After, oh. there is a, they confirm, yeah. Because we were only relying on the admission, the admission number on the jumper. But oh. that is not enough. Kama mtoto ni defaced, Naweza sema ni nani na hata huyo huyo wa kaseni yake alisema amjui Mwalimu there is something that kuna pahali I, I am not following Yes you have a rampage in, you have rampage in school mm. A student is missing Yes all of them two. have admission numbers There were two who are missing Yes uh, if, let's even assume that five of them are missing they might be from the same class or different classes Yes. All of them have admission numbers. Mm. So it would be wouldn't it be easy for a roll call to be to be called you out? Did all that. You did all that. Uh -huh. It took us around uh, four days. To uh, sure that. three days. To, to account sure for all the students. Everybody was accounted for. And 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 within those four days, uh yes. And within those four days. Uh, uh, the police still told you not to say anything. The police. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me tell you. The, the, the one of the relatives. See, of Papa Kia, Mama Mama, they are too much shule. A kapata ni to go to office. So, a kakuja kastema. I to confront all of us. A katoambia. He wants to know whether they. Mm -hmm. So already parents knew that a student is dead. Yes. So the parents out there already knew that a student had yes, passed on. They just hung there. Mm -hmm. They knew that there is a student who is dead. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. only identified that we could uh, we could get the mm -hmm. admission number. Mm -hmm. So I was told, please, it is the work of the police to release the information. Even in your jurisdiction? Yes. Yes. Okay. 
And then mm-hmm. that same day in the evening mm-hmm. around 4 mm-hmm. mimi mwenyewe mm-hmm. kwa sababu alienda walisema wazazi waende mochari sawa mm-hmm. mimi mwenyewe nilipeana gari yangu nikaachwa na wazazi wengine huko all over mm-hmm. the schools like ambia iko bacteria nikatumana mm-hmm. the two the two relatives wakaenda wapi wakaenda mochari mm-hmm wali kwenda mechi mochari the information they they give is that they can't identify the the boy mm-hmm. so the land day that was Wednesday is when now the the actual father alienda naka aka confirm positive mm-hmm. yeah and then uh, when at what point did you get in touch with the parents Uh, even to agree on this report uh, cause of death because they told me that after even after the death uh, there was uh, there, there, there was no contact between the school and them even the mzee mm. the mzee kwake from the school mm-hmm. yeah i can even show you some some of the call records alisema tusiende huko tukaangalia kutuma kutuma hiyo nini ile watu wa kutulink na hiyo familia mhm akakata kabisa mhm in fact it is one of my mbio members mhm who are who are a friend mhm kwa sababu alikuwa alikuwa sub count director pande hizo mhm na alionana na kansala wakapembeleza kabisa kabisa mpaka akakubali mhm That's when the contributions from the student, the teachers and the BOM to live to live mm-hmm. Yes. Wait, 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 were you there? No. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. I was not there. Mm-hmm. I was still advised just to, 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 to allow them and just to settle. Mm-hmm. Because it's like I was being blamed for everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I have never understood why. Uh, why was there a strike or rampage in school why was there the strike in school it was uh, some kind of incitement uh, and, uh, you know i was i just landed mm-hmm. and uh, my landing was a bit uh, volatile mm-hmm. because there was community the response the watch mm-hmm. when you are going to attack a change mm-hmm. So and as we talk mm-hmm. we are still in somewhere. Hmm? Mm-hmm. You know what is happening in secondary schools these days? What is happening? Yes. What is happening? Please bring me up to speed. Eh yes, sawa wacha nitunia kama na I think I Okay, just write what you want to write. Mm-hmm. Kama atueleana. No, yeah. necessa. Sister... You know when I talk to somebody who has a certain mindset, mm-hmm. you can't get far. No I'm asking what is happening in secondary schools. Yes. What is happening in secondary schools? Wacha wewe wewe wacha tuachie hapo. Sawa. Mhm. Please don't call me again. Okay. I thought we have we are talking something sense but can you have a mindset of what you want to do and I know media kazi yao ni hiyo. It's just about the money and nothing more. Money just to get to to have people to rent you can say anything for people to rent this is uh, a very uh, serious case mwalimu i don't mind i have a god who can protect me sikuwa mtu niliwa mtu wewe hatujasema umeuwa mtu i'm just it asking questions okay it is fate it can happen to you i have to pray i would wish that they will be safe and what Yes. So I do not understand how this conversation has uh, gone uh, down to you know, narrow down to money. I'm old, I'm 50 or so years. Na nikiona mtu wako na kuna vile anataka kusikia is not even um, up to the truth. I'm yeah. very honest. Yeah. Now, you know, Mwalimu, I was calling you to get what you want to, to say. That's I was co- and I write what you want to write. I was calling you to get your side of the story. Mhm. Okay? Mariamika bila wariamika. Sawa sawa. So even you. Mhm. 
just write what you want to write and look for money. So, so. That is not our objective. Sure whatever I'm popular by, by writing whatever you want to write. But we have a what is doesn't. So. Okay. okay. I do not think we are getting anywhere now. Yeah, because you, you there is what you are you are after. Just to know the truth. The other is in Kaona Kama to Nasa Indiana Rakini. Naona Sada Nikama Kunakit. What is happening in secondary schools? It's like you are you, you are not a kid. Okay. Miss Mutoto and I'm sure I'm almost your father. I'm also a journalist. I have questions that I have to ask. It is our duty. He has hung up. Uh, he does not want questions from journalists who want to make money. Anyway, uh, that is Basham. Uh, so be the judge. Yes, Mr. Paul. Yes, Mr. Mbijiwe. Yes, sir. Maria Gioni. Mary evening. Yes. Baba, niko mzuri. Ah, yeah. Ni miongea na principal wa shule. Eh, ameniambia, nyinyi kama wazazi mulikubaliana na yeye. Eh, ripoti yandikwe kwamba cause of death ilikuwa ni road accident. Sijui hiyo. Mulisi aliongea na msazi gani? Ni nani? Sisi tunaenda na vile postmodem inasema. Hiyo mm -hmm. ingine aliandika tulisema, aandike, tukimalisa yetu, tunaenda nae koti. Ok. Atatuonesha ni nani alifanya accident. Ok. Una kukumbuka aliangiri ali that uh, kijana aliuliwe na polisi. Ye, yeah, hiyo ulisema kwa interview. Ye, hey, na alisema mwenyewe. Hmm. Akasema ati siye aliita polisi ni principal, ni deputy principal. Mm. Anajaribu kuwepa majukumu yake, lakini hata ingawa hivo. Mm. Ni haya aliandika na hakuna mtu alimuulisha. Ok, hamuku kwa. Sisi hatupu ongea na ye kama wazazi. E. E. Ok, ni, I wanted to confirm that. Muambie. Aye. Hamuku ongea na mbijiwe. Hmm. Ama wazazi wa, wa murezi. Ok. Na ni mingi mzazi wa murezi, guardian. Aya. Ah, yeah. yeah. Asante. Napole sana. Asante. There you have it. I don't think that there are enough words that we can say to this family, to the parents and the loved ones of the departed Eugene that can comfort them. But we can hold their hands and their shoulders as they walk through this painful face of their life, that of losing their son. Just go to Amnesty International website and look for justice for Eugene. Then let's all uh, do this campaign. That's the best way we can help to support this family. Tuko family, we have been there for one another. This is another time and it is so simple. I know if you're watching this video, you're watching it on a smartphone or a tablet, a laptop, or even a smart TV. So it is possible for you to get online and sign that petition Eugene, for Eugene. Justice for Eugene on Amnesty International. Let's do this for this family. And this is their story. Let's help them and tell a friend to tell a friend. My name is Kimori Wangeshi. This is Tuko.